I bet you already knew about my houseplant obsession, how they're all called Jean, and they're my most prized possession. How about the fact that if you come round to mine, we are gonna watch The Lion King for the 10,000th time? You think that's odd and a little bit weird? See what happens if Simba disappeared? People always say, you're the life of the party. I'm like, oh, I just like making mates, new docs to my Marty. It's the worst day ever, but you'll never see me frown. A constant ball of energy that you can't put down. I'm funny and loud and outrageously outgoing. And I do all sorts, good and bad, without even knowing. Jo, she's always dead happy going 10,000 miles an hour like a Duracell battery that never runs out of power. I mean, I can't keep a job, but what does that matter? As long as I'm bouncing off the walls like my usual self, the mad hatter. Tell me a story. Go on. If you dare, the chances are I'm daydreaming, thinking about shit. Sure. You believe in love after love. I can feel something inside me say. Crap. What was I meant to do today? My friends truly love me, and do you know how I know? They repeat what they tell me and say, don't worry about it, Joe. It's always funny when I say something wrong, you mispronounce a word or go on talking too long. But deep, deep down in the pit of me tummy, I'm a little bit confused as to why people find this funny. Can't book a train, let alone manage my own bills. I'm smiling on the outside, because no one must know it kills. Sometimes I wish I knew how to make a decision. Like, do I want to watch X Factor or Bake Off on the television? Neither. Neither. It ruins another relationship because I push them to the brink. It's never them, it's me. I always overthink. A dream, a dream of mine is to just watch a full movie. But now I've got to move the living room around third time since Tuesday. It's okay because I'm funny and it's a quirk. <laughs> Try telling that to my boss at work. Wait, that's right. I actually don't have a job because I probably got sacked due to my big job. That, but I just totally forgot that I actually have to go to work. But like I said, it's a funny little quirk. Do I want to go shopping or out for a meal? Do you have any idea how drained and stressed those questions make me feel? I say things that I don't really mean, but they just fly on my head and then I stress and I panic clean. And my house is gorgeous because everything has a spot because you know what? That tidying is the only quiet time I've got for a couple of hours every single day. Cleaning and tidying, it takes the mess away. And if I don't do this, I will physically combust my house like my brain will literally turn to rust. Sometimes I wish that just for one day I could be normal like you. And like a flock of birds, these mad thoughts on my head just flew. Not that it's all bad, I just get waked up with distress because life's a little bit harder when you've got a brain that's a mess. You will crawl around your furniture and turn off your big light and probably leave a scrunchie at your house, that sounds about right. And the perks, they're here, but they can't be found. It's like the Lion King from start to finish. Sound. I am obsessive but creative, if you didn't already know. People always say to me, I wish I had a weird ass imagination like yours, Joe. And even though it's tough and people don't understand, I'd rather be a bit crazy than absolutely blonde. I'm lucky because I've found a place where this weird little ginger is fully loved and embraced. So I see it as a gift that's been given especially to me. Because I wouldn't be who I am without my ADHD. See ya!